Hello everybody and welcome to another After Effects tutorial and in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to blur out someone's face in Adobe After Effects. So basically what I have here is this footage of Andrew Kramer if you've heard of him he's a famous After Effects person who makes After Effects tutorials and yeah so I found this footage of him just talking about some slashing a tutorial or something and basically yeah so what I'm going to do here is just cut him up and make it basically uh, shorter so I can edit it with. So I just cut it right around here. We could do it like that. And so what we're going to do here is bring this over down. And now what we're going to do right click and trim to co trim comp to work area. And that does is just makes it easier for us to edit in. So as you can tell, we got a little bit of camera movement, and we got him just talking. So what we're going to have to do here, obviously, is motion track. So hopefully if you got a shot easy like something something simple like this, then it won't be too hard to do. So what we're going to do is get a null object, then double click our footage, click track motion, and turn on rotation. And what we're going to do is zoom in here get these on his eyeballs or somewhere on his face like if somebody has some like tracking points or something I don't know maybe you want to put something on the face but that's when you use it so what we're gonna do here is edit target and make sure you're null selecting or this will go to another object so be sure you have a null object out so next what we're gonna do is analyze forward and as you can tell the null I mean not the null object but the position and rotation are stuck onto its eyes Get stuff right around here. I don't know why. But anyways, now that we got it finished, so we're gonna hit apply, apply dimension X and Y's. Click OK. Close this down. And what we have now is this null object, this red box. Anyways, if you don't know what a null object is, so we're gonna have it. So right now it's stuck to the Andrew Kramer's face, right? So as you can tell, hopefully your footage will be like this, but it's really stuck under his face, as you can tell. So next what we're going to do is layer new adjustment layer. And so what we're going to do with the adjustment layer is go ahead and type in mosaic, which is something in stylized features. So you could also go to a effect and something and find it. And it's under the stylized section. What we're going to do is grab that mosaic and drop it on top of the adjustment layer. So as you can tell, we sort of got the, the look that we want. But what we're going to do have is to adjust it so you can get what you want, the way, you, an exact look what you want, to copy the way that you see like cops arresting some guy in the street or something, I don't know. But that's usually how they do it, so right now we're going to shut this off and zoom in so we can see the face. And basically, I don't know, you're actually not supposed to do that, but you have to have your adjustment layer selected actually. And then basically what you're going to do is go around the person's face and make sure that you got every part of their face covered that you want. And there. So we finally got the face done. And you could maybe adjust it a little bit here. So basically we got the face done. So if we turn back on the adjustment layer, we got this figure, f I mean this weird face that's a little blurred out. So what we're going to do here is basically click away, see what it looks like. So as you can tell, it looks, the around his head, it looks a little too sharp. So what we're going to do here is click on the adjustment layer, hit M on your keyboard, and then hit, click F. It'll bring up your mask feathering, and then you can just bring it up just a little bit so but not too much, so as you can tell, you see the face will come through just a little bit on the edges, so then you can get the, the edges won't be so harsh. So you can tell now it's, it's kind of smoothed out. So basically what we're going to do now is basically track it onto him. That's why we tracked the mushroom for it. So what we're going to do is grab this pick whip and place it on the null. Or you could just select it down here on the null, so there you go. So basically now, since the null was a perfect track, we can just play it, and the basically the adjustment layer sticks on onto the face. Super easy, not so hard. 
didn't take that much effort. This is what I really think is a really great trick. And yeah. So that's basically it, guys. So if you'd like, check out my other videos. And yeah, check out my channel. Subscribe, maybe like, favorite, thumbs up, and all that fun stuff. Just go check them out. And also check out my blog, TopeTads at dot wordpress dot com. I'll put it in the link. I'll put it in the description below. So please check it out. See you guys in the